Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we'll be doing a quick speed test comparison of two devices around the 25,000 price segment. We have the newly launched Moto Edge 60 uh, 5G and we also have the Poco X7 Pro. Now, Poco X7 Pro is one of the really powerful devices in this price segment, but it has been now six months since the launch. It has got multiple updates while the uh, Moto Edge 60 uh, is uh, the latest launch launched last week. So that's the difference. But then uh, if you look at the hardware, that's where these two devices differ for a lot so here we have Moto 860 with the dimensity 7400 chip it has UFS 2.2 and LPDDR4 XRAM on the other hand the Xiaomi or uh, rather the Poco X7 Pro has uh, the dimensity 8400 Ultra the most powerful chip for this price segment we have 12 gigs of RAM on both the devices and then we have a uh, LPDDR5 XRAM and UFS 4.0 so that makes the huge difference in terms of overall performance so Poco X7 Pro is definitely a, a powerful device let's see how how it performs compared to the Moto Edge 60. Remember, this is a new device while this is six months old device. So let's start. Uh, so you can see here now we cleared off all the background apps. So let's see the network connection. Both are connected to the same network and both are in uh, uh, Wi-Fi or rather the same connected to the same Wi-Fi network and both are in airplane mode. So clearing of the background apps once again. So let's start with Asphalt Unite. So we have enabled the game mode on both the devices. So Moto has taken the lead here in terms of asphalt. Next is uh, BGMI. So here you can see here Poco has taken the lead. Next is uh, Play Store, Moto has the lead, YouTube, Poco has taken the lead, Facebook, Poco has taken the lead, Twitter, Poco is leading, Instagram, once again Poco takes the lead, here also you can see here Poco has taken the lead, Amazon, once again Poco is the winner, Flipkart, you can see here uh, Poco is the winner. File manager, obviously the Xiaomi's file manager takes a lot of time. So we'll just skip that. Uh, the next is settings. Again, Poco is the winner. YouTube, uh, here it is. Uh, uh, you can see here that has been uh, on the Moto. Gmail, once again, uh, Poco. Camera, Moto. And finally, Maps. Here you can see here once again Poco. So Poco has taken the lead in almost all the apps and uh, uh, one of the games while uh, Moto uh, did win in two or three apps. But you can clearly see that the performance difference will show up, uh, especially in terms of gaming experience. If you run uh, a lot of uh, heavy uh, graphic rich games, uh, definitely the Poco X7 Pro will show up uh, its real power with uh, the UFS 4.0 and the Dimensity 8400 Ultra. Moto on the other hand, the UI has a bit of stutter, so uh, we have uh, mentioned that in our... Uh, next, let's see the memory management. Let's open the apps in the reverse order. So both of these devices have 12 uh, uh, gigabyte RAM. Let's see how it performs. So Flipkart has been reloaded here. Amazon has been reloaded. So Spotify is available on both. Uh, here once again it has been reloaded. Again reloaded. So Poco is reloading almost all of the apps uh, here. Available. Available. And BGMI is available on both the devices. Finally. Here you can see here, it has been available on both the devices. So you, what you could see here is uh, uh, Poco's memory management doesn't seem to be that impressive while uh, Moto's was uh, slightly better, uh, in fact better than uh, the Poco. Uh, so that's the memory management. Uh, so this has been updated multiple times, at least two or three updates have come. So that could be one of the reasons. So let's see uh, the other aspects. Uh, so let's go to the network speed of these two devices. So let's start with a uh, motor. Getting almost similar speeds. 
nothing much to differentiate next uh, see the raw benchmark that's where uh, things will take a different turn you can see here 7 lakh versus 15 lakh so that's a massive difference almost double the score you get on uh, poco x7 pro uh, in terms of raw performance you can see the cpu score gp score uh, everything is uh, really good this will help definitely in uh, uh, playing heavy graphic rich game so if you are on a device with extreme performance probably the poco x7 pro is the better option here and apart from that uh, if you look at the two storage test uh, we'll just uh, test the storage of these two devices Here we get 89,000 while or rather 90,000 you can see here 1,92,000 so massive difference in terms of read write score you can see here random access is almost double uh, the sequential write and read almost three times uh, the speed so that is definitely one of the important things to consider uh, if you want ultimate performance let's also do the Geekbench test uh, here we already done the testing so we'll just uh, show you the result So here you can see here 1566 is the single core this is 1073 while 2904 almost double you get 5878 so in terms of raw benchmark uh, the moto 860 can't beat the poco x7 pro so that was the performance or rather the speed test of these two devices hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day